Is this a breakfast safari? Prince the Bear here today. We're hanging out with the king, the royalty of lodges, Animal, Animal Kingdom, Kingdom Lodge. Lodge. So we're headed to? The Mara. Yes, it's time to return because we have to try breakfast. Yes. It's been a while. We've never been for breakfast. Never? No. Oh, well, our general no. one choice of the food you have and it tells us we have something to investigate. So remember, she's vegan. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to lose her this time. It's time to foodie and chill. Ancient Green Power Bowl. Farrow wheat, quinoa, berries, greens, sweet potato, and beautiful just egg. Modified vegan. This is the Ancient Grain Bowl. It is modified to be vegan. I did ask for the just egg as well. This isn't all of it. This is just what I could fit in the bowl. I have a whole container filled with stuff. Um, everything on it is vegan. Uh, all you have to do is order it without the egg and the feta. And then, of course, you can ask for the just. They go and grab that over from Boma. So I'm just gonna try, um, I guess, since I can't get it all together, I'll just do this in pieces. I'll do the egg and the quinoa mixture together. That quinoa mixture is very like bright and citrusy, almost like eating an orange or like a lemon. I like it if you like um, citrus. If you don't, maybe steer away. I would give it a three and a half out of five salads. This is a really good, interesting quinoa salad. I like it a lot. Um, now let me move on here to the sweet potato and the berries. I'm just going to eat those together with some of this just. I have unlimited just essentially. The container that they gave me is huge. I forgot she told me it's not sweet potato, it's yams. And the yams are like really soft and cooked all the way through. They're nice and warm. I love those. And I don't usually like them. I think they will taste really good with the quinoa mixture as well. I love all of this so far. I would give the yams and the, the fruit um, four and a half out of five fruits. Very tasty and veggies. And then the last thing here on the bowl is this kale salad. It's got a lot of stuff in here too. It's very wet. I'm definitely not gonna put just on that though. I mean, egg in a salad is a thing. So that's actually kind of like on the oily side with a little bit of a um, a small heat, like a one out of 10 on the heat scale. So I think with the, the salad with the quinoa together, which I think I should just do, um, would be a really good combo, surprisingly. I didn't think so. Now you have a little bit of sweet, you have a little bit of savory, you have a little bit of tang. This bowl has everything that you need. I think it's a 4.75 out of five quinoa bowls. It's really, really good breakfast bowl so this uh delightful ancient grain bowl it's a very on brand what they do for lunch and dinner here as far as bowls uh it feels very of the savannah uh power ancient grain bowl it's giving me vibes of what i used to be able to get in sunshine seasons at epcot but this mixture of the salad the kale with the pumpkin seeds and the quinoa and your raisins it feels like one of those uh, doctor approved, hey, this might actually not clog your arteries and cause your heart attack. Food you get at the theme park. They should serve this in Animal Kingdom, honestly. I hide all the best things in the Mara. I am gonna be a bear and just try to scoop a little bit of everything into a fork. That's what we do here. We do bear things, bear stuff. Our princess had the right idea. Trying it all together is, um, doesn't taste bad, doesn't grow the flavor, it's fine. The fruit, the seeds, the salad, the quinoa, everything, flavor great. Even mixed, it's fine. But if you uh, are sensitive to textures, it's like a texture obstacle course. That feels like a ride on Savannah. Smooth, chill, rough. It There's a lot going on in there. The roughness of the quinoa with the salad, the seeds, you have the softness. It's like different levels of chewing per bite. So maybe sort of pace yourself, don't, don't be a bear. This will be the one instance I'd be like, don't be like me. Well, actually, a lot of instances of don't be like me. The princess is a smart one. I am just here for comic relief. Oh, mm, interesting. I wanna try this, this seed in the quinoa one more time. Mm, okay. If that makes me feel like it's time to give up trying to eat quinoa hot, maybe coals, raisins, and seeds. I kinda like that. This bowl 
is amazing. I have this 4.75 out of 5 claws. The fact that we don't have something like this, they say like Harambe market for breakfast, maybe, breaks my heart a little bit. All these like delicious, tasty bowls hidden at Anokin Lodge where not a lot of people come. Now you could hop on a bus from Anokin and come over here for breakfast. However, it really should be in the parks. And I feel like that's that almost every single time I come here. Allergy friendly waffles served with fresh fruit, vegan and gluten free, available by request. I have some beautiful, beautiful Nala waffles here for breakfast. Bear and I, we try really hard to do breakfast. We work, we both work full-time jobs, so we can't eat breakfast at Disney during the week. We only have Saturdays and Sundays. And to get up and do breakfast like this, we have to get up at five in the morning so that we can be here and get here at the right time. We are not morning people. It takes us forever to leave the house in the morning, especially when it's early. It's really, really hard. We've been trying for a month to do this video and it was just too hard to get up. Even on vacation for our birthdays, it's too hard. But what makes it worth it? Waffles, character waffles. I still say Mickey waffles are superior, but I will not complain when I have Nala waffles. You can call them symbol waffles. I'm gonna call them Nala waffles. I'm still gonna take off the ear, even though it's not a Mickey waffle. And I got berries on the side because I don't usually get that as my option. So I think like a berry waffle, genius. It tastes like the perfect cake in the morning. There's nothing better than a Disney World waffle or a Disneyland waffle or Disney waffle in general. There's just, they're just magical. They're just better than any other waffle. I give it a five out of five. It's a princess city's item. If you don't make your waffle during breakfast or I guess character waffle, do you even Disney? To be abundantly clear, when the princess says we get up at five, she means she gets up at five. If you try to speak to me at five in the morning, you're gonna swear I'm a zombie because that's literally my level of motivation and locomotion that early in the morning, but we do get up early. These videos took a lot to prepare, camera equipment and things like that, getting ready to come out. Even though we only live like 20 minutes away, time, time goes into these. As for the magical hold that uh, these Disney waffles have on people, I'll never know. Because while you say that Mickey waffles are the best waffles on the planet, and I will be willing to acquiesce to that if uh, they're Stitch waffles, uh, if you've never had Waffle House at 2 a.m. in Florida, I just, I just don't see the magic. Those aren't vegan. I will say I'm not usually a fruit on my waffles or a pancakes kind of person, but in this case, the berries with the waffles and not the waffles is a nice touch. Uh, they're cooked well, unlike some other resorts that we run into before. So, they did the allergy proud. Uh, I wish that they had a pure maple syrup. Pure maple syrup, which is always vegan. Uh, the one here has uh, invert, invert sugar. So, not vegan. Your mileage may vary. We forgot our Vermont. We did. We got sent a nice, huge bottle of... Uh, Vermont authentic syrup from a farm. Uh, maybe next time we'll remember that. For now, I'm giving these a 3.75 out of 5 claws. They're still inferior to pancakes, however. In case you were curious, I did eat some, but this is the rest of the just. It's a huge portion, like an Ohana level portion. I love it. Plant-based babuti with just a plant-based sausage, mushrooms, onions, spinach, and topped with chakalaka, vegan and gluten-free. We have the most beautiful plate of babuti. The only place you can get babuti is Boma, but if you ask nicely here at the Mara, they will give it to you too. Get you some babuti. I haven't had this since the last time we went to Boma for breakfast, which was actually pretty recent. I would say in the last six months. We will have a link for you to check out that video. I always struggle getting Babuti out. It's just like so much work. Ugh. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, maybe not. <laughs> Hates me. You want a fork? There we go. 
Cheers. Tastes just like what you get at Boma. Fantastic. I love it. It is a five out of five. It is a princess city's item. If you've never had Bohuti, highly recommend trying it. And if you don't want to do buffet, come get it from the Mara. We have this booty, the bobo tie. However you pronounce it, it's basically uh, a, an egg quiche of African origins. But the toppings, you have the plant-based meat in here. You have the tomatoes and a little uh, quiche recycled serving dish. So try to get you a little bit of everything. There's some onions in here. Look at that. Beautimous. Mmm. It's really just seasoning and tomatoes on top. It sort of bring everything together. The chakalaka uh, gives it a unique, like, definitely like African flavor that just sort of like springs off the plate into your mouth. It's tasty. I honestly wish they served double sized portions because I could easily come here and just eat this and probably never eat anything else in Animal Kingdom all day. Uh, this is a five out of five claw. Some of Barry says this is our favorite thing to get when we come to Boma, and I'm glad that at least the vegans have the option to get it here at the Mara when they come. Kilimanjaro Ball, a mountain of potato barrels topped with scrambled eggs, sausage gravy, chakalaka, cheddar, bacon, and chives. Here we have the Kilimanjaro Bowl, as in the Kilimanjaro Safari, as in the Kilimanjaro Mountain, because they describe this as a mountain full of things. You have uh, scrambled eggs, cheddar cheese, chakalaka, chives, bacon, and potato barrels all in a bowl piled as high as the bowl will allow just asking for you to climb it with, with your taste buds. Not, don't actually try to climb your food. That would be messy. Go ahead and dig right in here. You have the pieces of bacon, you have the potato barrels, cheese, tons of scrambled eggs, like tons. Like a lot more than I thought I was getting in here. I can see why they gave the princess a big portion of her food because uh, this is also rather matched for a breakfast bowl at that. Mmm, the cheddar, the bacon, that tomato-based chocolate. Tasty, the bacon. I like the bacon nice and crumbled. Little bits to the big pieces with the potato barrels like that. That is unique and gives a nice texture to mouth feel. I could do with a little bit more of that chocolate on top. It's very tasty. It's like a unique tomato taste that you could only get here at Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom Lodge. And I believe it was more spread around so you could like portion that and sort of ration it amongst the entire bowl. I think it would probably be a five as it is. It's still a four and a half out of five claws. I want this delivered to, to my house. Not the hotel, I want to deliver to my house. We married. Breakfast is amazing, lunch is amazing, dinner is amazing, late night is amazing, Aaron McKenna's here all the time is amazing. You can't go wrong with the Mara, literally in like, like the best, yes, the best resort quick service, I will say. I think she's trying to say this amazing. Just, just a little bit. Uh, Amazing. It was definitely a safari of food, tasty food. And again, I feel like it's so unique, but limited that it's here, but I'm yes. glad that it's here. If you're staying here or ha have a, a reservation here at some point, it's definitely food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner you need to try mm -hmm. at some point. Uh, too few people get the experience tomorrow and we cannot stop both talking about it and making videos about it. I will say, <laughs> if you're gonna do the Starlight Safari, come to the Mara first and eat there. Start your experience early. That is the way to do the Starlight Safari. Print the secrets. But we don't know what you guys think. Let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see us do, that will always be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, maybe Bear will yeet himself into the pool? It is a pretty peaceful looking pool for now. Get to her, the girl.